Welcome back everybody. Today's video is on the Japanese OCG exclusives to Legacy of the Valiant. Now we do need to clarify a little bit. In our previous like Shadow Spectres exclusive videos, we referred to the OCG imports as OCG exclusives. With the introduction of actual OCG exclusives, meaning cards that are only being released in the OCG territories, we are going to need to specify the OCG exclusives are the ones that are released only in Japan. The OCG imports are the ones we get in the TCG set that are cards that hadn't yet been printed in the TCG. Just to, just to clarify. And the first of these Japanese OCG exclusives, we have the Chronomaly Never Disc, which is a level 4 light effect monster with 1800 attack and 1500 defense. And its effect is when this card is normal summoned, you can add one Chronomaly card from your deck to your hand, except Chronomaly Never Disc. If this card is in your graveyard and all monsters you control are Chronomaly monsters, minimum of one, you can special summon this card from your graveyard in de face up defense position. You cannot activate cards or effects the turn you activate this effect, except Chronomaly cards. You can only use one Chronomaly Nebra Disc effect per turn and only once that turn. So, the really, the best part about this card is the fact that when you normal summon it, you could literally search out any card in the archetype which is incredibly powerful especially with the addition of things like Gordia's Unite and Soul Monolith and things like that. The other nice thing is if you already have a Chronomaly it's basically just an instant special summon and in terms of your monsters most of what you're gonna have is Chronomaly effects so that's not a whole big deal especially with the Xyz that we're gonna talk about in a little bit. Yeah so this card can be used to grab any Chronomaly card as mentioned we can grab you can grab a uh, Chronomaly Aztec Mask Golem and if you've already played a spell card you can special summon that and go into your Xyz play you can also grab your level fives for potential Xyz plays there. Additionally, this card, as mentioned in the effect, can be special summoned from the graveyard in face-up defense position, but just be warned, if you do activate that effect, be careful because you're not going to be able to activate anything but Chronomaly cards. One nice thing is if you do have this card in your graveyard and you happen to just have a Golden Jet in your hand, you've got an instant number 33 right there because you can just summon Golden Jet and then you've met the requirement for having just Chronomalies on the field and special summon never disc from your graveyard and since golden jet is still a chronomaly you can use its effect to increase them both up to five and you have a number 33 there all right and then next we're going to talk about the ex aforementioned xyz monster number 36 chronomaly for cuic it's a light machine xyz effect monster rank four it's got 2000 attack and 2500 defense and it takes two level four chronomaly monsters to summon its effect is once per turn during either player's turn, you can detach a material from this card, then target a face-up monster your opponent controls, that monster's attack becomes zero until the end of the turn. And you can tribute one Chronomaly monster, then target one monster your opponent controls whose current attack is different than its original attack, and destroy that target. So this card works very well with uh, Maku Mech, Chronomaly Maku Mech, whose effect is when uh, an opponent's monster is different from their original and... Uh, Maku Mech attacks, it gains their attack. Uh, does it reduce it their attack them. to zero, too? It does not. It Basically, it's a Maku Mech's effect is when you're, you have an opponent's monster that has a different attack than its original attack, you can detach a material to gain that attack that attack difference in attack for Maku Mech and deal that much damage to your opponent. So this is an incredibly good combo with number 33. Yeah, so you're going to be able to not only deal damage, but gain attack and attack over their monster, who now has zero attack due to your number 36. And then feasibly, if you even have another Chronomaly, basically what you've done is you've detached material off 4 Cuic, reduced them down to zero, dashed the material off uh, Maku Mech, and gained attack, dealt damage, and then you contribute that other Chronomaly monster you have, and then it's gone, and then you have <laughs> two direct attacks there for you, or attack on a different monster. And obviously this card is pretty easy to summon for the Chronomalies, since they have Chronomaly Nebra Disc, they have a lot of level 4s that can be summoned, like Aztec uh, Mask Golem, and Golden Jet, who can change the level of the lower level Chronomalies up to up to level four so 
it's going to be very easy to get this card out. All right, and then next we have Heraldic Beast Amphisbana. It's a wind dragon effect monster. It's level 4, 1700 attack and 1100 defense. At the effect of you can discard one other Heraldic Beast monster, special summon this card from your hand. And then once per turn, you can discard a Heraldic Beast monster, and it gains 800 attack until the end phase. So, the best card to probably discard with this is Heraldic Beast Leo, since when he is sent to the graveyard, you can add another Heraldic Beast from your deck to your hand. That will allow you to not only special summon this card, but add another... Heraldic Beast, or that'll make sure you can get an Xyz play off that turn. And then the nice thing is with the Heraldic Beasts, their ability to use their spell cards to special summon from the graveyard incredibly often, either through Heraldry Reborn to just revive it themselves, or through Advanced Heraldry Art to Xyz summon from the grave. This card is an amazing way to set that up, because you have the feasibility in one turn you could get two Her Heraldic Beast monsters in your graveyard and have this guy out. Yeah, so then you're going to just be able to straight go away for your advanced heraldry art for the uh, additional Xyz summon. The other nice thing is, as it is a wind monster, it does give additional uh, the additional ability for all the beasts to actually go into like lightning Chidori. But I guess next we have number 18, Heraldic Progenitor Plaincoat, who is a rank 4 psychic Xyz effect monster light attribute who requires two level four monsters to exceed summon into and its effect is during either player's turn if there are two or more monsters on the field with the same name you can detach one exceeds material from this card choose one of those monsters that have the same name and destroy all other monsters on the field with the same name while this card is face up on the field your opponent cannot special summon another monster with the same name as that target if this card is sent to the graveyard, you can send two Heraldic Beast Monsters from your deck to the graveyard. So, that's kind of in the same vein of number 36. This is basically an additional number for the archetype that supports the other numbers. Um, because previously, I mean, when you used number 8 or number 69 to copy an opponent's monster, you didn't really get a whole lot out of it, except for the fact that now you're copying them. But if you have this guy out as well, what you can do is basically just destroy the monster that was copied. One thing to remember, and I've fallen prey to this myself, make sure you target your own monster that has that name. Because you target the monster you want to keep on the field. I've accidentally done I've <laughs> accidentally done the other way around before and my monster got destroyed and I was sad. So that is a good thing to note. It is also nice that this card is generic, so you can play this in other decks if you so choose. That gives mm -hmm. it a little bit of variety in that respect. And also its ability when it's sent to the graveyard to send two heraldic beast monsters from your deck to the graveyard. Also sets up plays for uh, you can send your Leos to the to the graveyard to add heraldic beast to your hand or it just sets up two heraldic beasts uh, additional for your your spell cards like your advanced heraldry art and heraldry reborn and the other nice thing is as we mentioned before since it is generic it's actually a really good side deck card because any deck any of any deck your opponent may be using that may use the same kind of card more than once, say like you're facing cyber dragons or harpies or something like that, you can use this to eliminate all but one of them. And it will also force them to not be able to play any other cards. So you use this on a cyber dragon player, you target cyber dragon with this when they have more than one out, and they can't play any other cyber dragons as long as number 18 is out. You, oh, they would have to have multiple of that card on the They field. would have to have more than one on the field, but decks like cyber dragons or harpies they spam the same card that gain the same name while they're on the field yeah. so i guess next or last of all we have heraldry augmentation which is a field spell whose effect is uh, psychic type mo exceeds monsters on the field cannot be targeted by spell and trap effects once per turn you can discard one heraldic beast monster add one her heraldry spell or trap card from your deck to your hand except heraldry augmentation you cannot normal or special summon any monsters during the turn you activate this effect, except psychic type Xyz monsters and heraldic beast monsters. Now, obviously, this is incredibly good protection for your psychic type Xyz monsters. One thing to be aware of, though, if you are including number C69 in your decks, this card will prevent you from ranking up any of your any of your monsters into him, because you do need to you need to target your Xyz monster on the field. So be wary of that if you're going for the rank up sort of build there. But other than that, I mean, you're protecting your 
psychic Xyz monsters, which I believe all but uh, Master of Blades, all of them are heraldics, aside from Chronomaly Crystal Chrononaut. So there are there are a few non heraldic these monsters that do get protection from this but obviously this is where you're going to want to use it yeah there's not too many other options so far at least another thing uh this card is going to prevent your potential save zone plays but since they basically do the same thing that's not too big of a deal as most of the heraldic support it gives you additional graveyard uh support you can send heraldic beast from your uh, hand to the graveyard most likely your leo you can search out another heraldry card and you'll get not only a heraldry spell or trap card but you'll get the heraldry monster from the leo if you do discard that which is gonna mm. very easily set up uh, additional exceeds plays but i guess that's it for the japanese ocg exclusives a little redundant but uh, i hope you enjoyed and leave your comments below on any of your thoughts on these cards